Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I'm Audra and I upload videos every Tuesday and Friday. I would love for you to join us. So if you love this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. So summer and wedding season is upon us. I know I have one next weekend and I'm sure you guys have a couple soon as well. So I wanted to do a little summery and sultry soft glam makeup today an idea for a look if you have a wedding to go to or you're in a wedding and doing your own makeup or if you have anything else going on this summer that you need to kind of get glammed up it'll be the perfect look for that as well so let's get into it i'm gonna start with <laughs> i'm gonna start with the super goop glow screen this is an spf of 40. most foundations now i feel like have some kind of like spf in it um, but especially if you're going to a wedding, like, outdoors or anything, I like to apply an extra SVF. I'm gonna add a little bit more and put it on my neck as well. And then if you're wearing any kind of, like, strapless dress or anything, I would definitely put it on your chest, on your shoulders. So just an extra little reminder to add your sunscreen. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of the all-nighter primer I feel like that glow screen is a nice little primer but this one's gonna like actually make your makeup stay all night summary I want to be glowy I want my makeup to last a really long time so I'm gonna use for foundation the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue I hate that in that video I found that this um, has definitely a lot of like chemicals and things in it that aren't so great it's almost out so I'm really just trying to use it up but I do really love this foundation like I would say it's one of my favorite finishes it just looks so beautiful on the skin I used it on my best friend when I was in her wedding and I did her makeup it lasted all day her skin looked beautiful like super glowy super even like it looked like that glass skin almost um, so I do really love this, but as I'm doing more research about like a clean makeup and everything, it is kind of a bummer that that one did not show up as very clean. <laughs> but I'm going to use this Rare Beauty foundation brush. I love this foundation brush. It has like the perfect density and that perfect um, like tapered or angled top to it. This just makes, just makes applying foundation, especially like a thicker, more full coverage foundation like this one. It's really like easy and seamless. And as you saw, I really didn't apply that much of it. Just like a couple little dabs around my face. So it really doesn't take much and I feel like you need a lot less foundation, at least I think that than you normally feel like you do. And I don't like the heaviness of something really thick on my face. So it's nice you can kind of get the coverage without putting like a ton on. Plus you can always add a concealer like where you need it instead of having a really heavy face of foundation. So I think I'm gonna do my eyes first mostly. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on my eyelids just to like make them really even and kind of prime them. I don't usually ever use like eyelid primer at all. So I kind of just use this as that kind of prime, priming. And I'm gonna take a little bit of powder. This is the Ilia powder that I've been obsessed with and just set my eyelids i don't like when they're like tacky i know that can help to adhere your eyeshadow to your lids but i like the blendability of having it set and nice and like matte with powder first just my preference and then for shadow i think i'm going to pull out the urban decay naked like the original one i don't think this is even available anymore but i know a lot of people have it plus you can literally find so many very very similar to this um just a neutral palette and i'm gonna take buck which is like a deeper taupe 
some matte shade and I'm just gonna put that in my crease just to add depth and a little bit of like a shadow this is a morphe m573 brush just a super simple like the perfect size blending brush Whatever is excess on the brush, I'm just going to bring it underneath. So for this look, I want to focus more on like the lash line and creating kind of like a cat eye. Really like elongating the eye and creating the depth more so in the lash line versus like the crease. So this is pretty much all the shadow I'm going to be putting on like in my crease. I'm going to take Dark Horse. It's like a very cool toned almost like gray brown and this is just a little pointer brush and i'm going to put that in the lash line it does have a little bit of shimmer to it and i'm just going to keep really close to the lash line So it's basically just a liner with eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna take more of an angled brush, it's a really skinny little angled brush, and go in with that same shade. And just create a little bit of a cat eye, because I'm gonna be adding liquid eyeliner on top of this. So I want to elongate, like I said, my eyes. That brush kind of was not very like, precise so I'm just taking a little flat brush and just kind of clean up underneath kind of the reason why it's nice to do your eye first your eyes first so you can kind of clean up and then I can take concealer underneath as well okay so we have a little bit of a wing on each side I'm going to take the Morphe M506 it's a little bit smaller of a blending brush and just go over that because I want it to be nice and smoky I don't want it to be like a super harsh line or anything. I want these to be sh kind of sharp underneath so they're a nice wing, but I don't want like on the top to be very harsh. I'm going to take that dark horse color again and put a, a little bit on the outer like half underneath my eyes. Just create a little bit more depth and we can clean this up too with concealer when we finish like our face okay now that we have that depth and that kind of like length I'm gonna do a teeny little bit of a winged eyeliner really close to the lash line because um, I am gonna be putting like half lashes on which I don't usually wear lashes a lot but I really wanted to do it for like this more glam look so it's definitely gonna help to like hide the track I'm gonna use the tattoo liner it's my little go-to liquid liner because it's super easy to use just do a little bit of a wing Plus I feel like whenever you're going to an event or anything, you can't go wrong with a little bit of a wing because I think it looks really pretty in photos as well. I'm going to smoke it out a little bit with that same dark horse color and go over it just to make it not so like stark black. And it makes it like really pretty and shimmery too.
I felt like I made it too like smoky, so I just added like one more little layer of the liquid liner just because I didn't like how the black liner like completely disappeared. And then I'm gonna add some little half lashes. I just have the Ardell Wispies, super common lash, but I'm going to cut them in half and then just apply them to like the outer half of my eyes. I'm actually gonna cut it so that this part that's supposed to be on the like inner corner of your eye is what I'm putting towards the end just because it has more of like a these are a little bit shorter and these are longer so it won't look so like stark like really long ones towards the end of my lash I don't know I've no, I don't know if I've ever actually done this but that's what kind of makes sense to me in my head so I'm gonna apply the lash glue I just have the little duo one and I like that this one has the little brush on it so it makes it really easy to apply it onto the lash. And while that's getting a little bit tacky, I'm gonna curl my lashes. I always just apply it with my hands. A lot of people find the tweezers to be really nice and useful, but I always just use my hands and that seems to work for me so now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the other one now applying it like as far out from my eyes as possible so that I can really get that like cat eye look and then another thing I kind of did when I applied them as well was because I have that thicker black liner I have some like room to play so in order to make my eyes look a little bit larger I applied the lashes with like a little bit of a space in between my lash line and the lashes usually when you apply lashes you try to get them as close as possible to your lash line but since these are just like little half lashes and i have that like kind of depth and that thicker black liner i was able to put a little bit of space so it's kind of lifting and making my eyes appear a little bit larger and now i'm going to add mascara this is just the ilia what is this called? Fullest Volumizing Mascara. And blend my real lashes in with my falsies. I'm gonna focus this layer towards the very like edges of my lashes to lengthen them so that I don't have any like stark difference between the falsies and my real lashes so it's not like obvious that i have only like half falsies on okay those are the eyes for now i'm going to do the rest of the face finally and hopefully this will all kind of come together then this is the kosas concealer nice and bright brightening concealer I'm gonna let that concealer kind of sit and get a little bit more dry down before I blend it out. So while that's sitting, I'm gonna take the Fenty Matchsticks in Mocha and contour a little bit. I'm gonna use this at Cosmetics. It's actually a foundation brush. I think it's called like Blurring Foundation. It all rubbed off, so I'm not quite sure, but I'll always have it linked when I use it, the exact one. But I like how dense this is. I like a really dense brush for blending out my contour. Just makes it so much easier. It makes it look a little bit more like airbrush too. So I'm just going to blend out the contour first before going in with the concealer. And I like having the concealer blended out after as well because then it helps you to like clean up the contour a little bit. Make it look a little bit more natural.
Okay, and then I'm gonna take that Rare Beauty foundation brush again and blend out the concealer. So that really helped to brighten like the center of my face and then blend out that contour really beautifully. Then I'm going to use a cream blush. This is the Ilia Multi-Stick in Dreamer and blend that out. I didn't really want to, I wanted to be more sultry so I didn't want to go with like a pink still would be really pretty but I like how like warm this one is it's a little bit more sultry than like bright I think and then I'm gonna add powder so this is the Ilia powder I'm gonna actually use a beauty blender for this and almost bake under my eyes I'm not gonna like let it sit or anything but I just really want to press it in because that's where I get really creasy So definitely down my T-zone I'm doing this, and then I'm going to do a little bit on my cheeks, but I'm not going to do over my contour or like my blush or anything. I'm just going to be setting it with a powder bronzer. This is the Ilia Bronzer in Dawn In and a little It Cosmetics. I think it's called like the Ultra, Ultra, Ultra Plush brush. But so I'm kind of just using that as like my setting powder to set the bronzer. Just a nice little layer of this. And for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Laura Highlighter in Celestial. Put it on my brow bone. I love how like golden this is. And back on my highlighter game kind of like was just like interested in it for a while just not like caring if I added it but now I really feel like it levels up your makeup I think I'm gonna add a little bit on my lids just feel like I little, need a little bit of sparkle I'm liking like the sultriness of my eyes so I don't want to add too much I feel like I need a, need a little bit of glow. For brows, I'm not going to do it too much, but I do want to fill them in a little bit just to match like the intensity of my eyes. So I'm just going to take the Anastasia Brow Wiz and fill in any sparse areas. I don't want them to look like blocks or anything, so I usually go in the direction of the hair growth to make it look a little bit, little bit more natural, like instead of going like and putting the line here to make like an outline, I'm more so just filling in the hairs and going with the brow hair direction, if that makes sense. I just feel like it makes it look a little bit more natural than having your brows like outlined. And then I'm going to go in with the boy brow from Glossier and add that like fluffiness. This does have some color in it. I believe I have it in medium brown. Or mine just says brown. I'm going to do a nice thick spray of the MAC Fix Plus. Like basically
basically shower in it because I find that like that's really what helps it stay really long. And last for lips, I'm going to use the Anastasia Deep Taupe Liner with the MAC just taupe lipstick. Really pretty like deep sultry reds. I've used this combination before and I just thought it'd be perfect for this look. I'm just like kind of blending the liner with the lipstick. That is the finished look. That is the finished look. I got a little nervous there in the middle because I thought I was messing it up, but I think we got there in the end. I like to have the sultriness kind of more so on the lash line rather than like in my crease. I just feel like for my eye shape, I just like it a little bit more. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, everything that I use will be linked in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday for another video.